So we're going to create some coloring book illustrations here that are going to be suitable for printing off and actually coloring in with crayons and things or painting digitally within Photopea. So I'm going to click on this plugin down at the bottom, which I've got installed, a free plugin called Desgo Text to Image, and it's got basically a free version of Flux built into it. Now, if you haven't got this, then check out my video that I'll link in the description where I go through a tutorial on how to set it up. But if you just want to jump start into this really quickly, just go to your window menu, go to plugins, find the one that looks like this, and it's called Desgo Text to Image, click on it, click sort of add plugin or install plugin, whatever it'll say on the next screen, and then it will add it into your photo P sort of toolbar right down here at the bottom. So once you've got that installed, just click on it to bring up the interface. Now I'm not going to change any settings, go through any of that here. I'm just going to go straight into the prompt. I'm going to start the prompt with this. Coloring book image, black and white. I'm going to put bold lines of and then we put whatever the subject we want is after uh, so this is just like our starter prompt and you can sort of just copy and paste this onto a document the text documents so you don't have to keep retyping it so let's just put a cute um of a cute kitten playing with a ball of yarn okay now we just need to click the run button and that will process and spit an image out. Now, if we like the image style, but we don't like that particular image, we can just click run again and it will generate a variant on the theme. And sometimes you'll get things like um, little lines not connecting and things like that, or elements that look a bit strange. And if you get one of those, or you don't like the image, just click run and um, just wait a few moments and it will generate a second image. And you can just keep going as many times as you like. Okay, so I'm gonna click download on that image. And then I'm just going to drag it from my download area back into the photo B. Okay, so now I've got my image. Let me just close that preview a second. So I now have my cute kitten playing with the ball of yarn image, which is nice, solid black lines, really suitable for coloring in. So I can either print this off, it's obviously onto physical paper, and it can be colored in with crayons or felt pens or anything like that. Or you can set it up for coloring digitally within Photopea, and I'll just show you that now. So the easiest way I found to do this, or the best way, is probably create a folder, and just you could just call it colors, or whatever you want to do. And then if you want to sort of almost set up some predetermined colors, like you would get in a crayon set, or whatever, you might have like half a dozen set colors for this particular thing. You can do that here by just generating a color fill, and you could just kind of decide what colors you want to be in your in your kind of coloring coloring set so then we're going to click on the layer mask and press Control or command i to invert it so it's not being displayed and then we can just go ahead and sort of repeat this with some other colors so let's say it'd be nice to have a like a pink for the nose to be able to do the nose so we'll we'll do that we'll hide that again command or Control i to invert it and we'll go again maybe we'll give the person or sort of red color for the um or whoever's going to be using this a red color for the ball of yarn and then maybe we can just add loads of other colors to choose from you get the idea so now when you come to use this you just click on the click on the colors folder and instead of the pass through blending mode which is a typical one associated with folders change the whole folder to multiply and now we just go to let's just say start from the bottom up from the base color upwards Let's start with this color for the cat. So I'm going to just make sure I've got a brush selected and quite a hard edge. It's a bit subjective, it doesn't matter. You just don't want it to be too fuzzy. Um, and make sure white is your foreground color. And now wherever you click and draw, you're going to be coloring in. And because the whole folder set to multiply, everything within it is going to have a multiplied effect, which means it won't cover over the black lines. So, so you can make your brush smaller, however you want to do it. If you've got a, a back on tablet or some of the kind of um, tablet pen, this is this is great. Um, you know, you've got kids that use your laptop, whatever you can get them involved and you know, you can cover it in. And it's non-destructive. So if you go over an area you don't want, obviously you can just press X to turn the white brush into a black brush. And now you can basically erase the areas that you don't want. And so let's go on to the next color. Let's go for pink. So you can color the nose in, you get the idea, etc., etc. 
And then once you've had fun coloring that in, you can save that, you can print it out, you can do whatever you like with it.